All right, so as I'm sure you guys are aware because I've talked about this at length, Politicon has been anything but professional. Honestly, they have been the antithesis of professional because they have confirmed, supposedly done these confirmations of debates that actually aren't even confirmed. So we thought that Ann Coulter was going to be debating Kyle Kalinske. It turns out that's not going to happen. It looks like Ann Coulter backed out. Um, we also were under the impression that David Pakman and Kyle Kalinske were going to be debating Candace Owens and Charlie Kirk because there was, uh, because that's what they said. They said that that was confirmed. It turns out that Candace Owens has backed out and apparently we now have information that it's not a, it's not a debate. It's a panel. So it's a, a bit different than that in the first place. So Kyle Kalinske has, uh, released his video announcing his official, Politicon schedule and so he is going to speak about who he is going to be debating uh, one on one and some of the panels that he's going to be doing so check it out on Saturday I will be on this panel it's called should we be socialists it's from 3 30 p.m. to 4 30 p.m. this is Pacific time um, and as you can see here the panel has Sam Cedar Anna Kasparian, Bakari Sellers, David Pakman, and Marcos Melitsis. Uh, there's a panel called, How the F*** Are We Going to Get Along? I think you guys will be very interested in this one. Because on this panel with me, there's Stephen Olicara, Bakari Sellers again, uh, Michael no Knowles, Roaming Millennial, who some of you may know because she's a, a, a YouTuber, right-leaning YouTuber. But then you also have Charlie Kirk. So again, this is the panel that there was um, that we were told at one point that it would probably be me and David Pakman versus um, Charlie Kirk and Candace Owens. It turns out Candace Owens will not be on that panel. This is earlier in the day, 11:30 a.m. to 12:30 p.m. in Independence Hall. There's a panel called "What Now, Liberals." And you can see the people participating here. This is the extra panel. Remember I told you guys that since Ann Coulter backed out, I felt terrible about that because I know a lot of you guys wanted to see that specifically. So I said, you have to ameliorate this in some way and add me on an extra panel. So they did. This is the extra panel that they put me on end up debating. The answer is nobody who's been floated so far. Scotty Nell Hughes is the answer. That's at 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. in... The K Street Lobby, which is funny. <laughs> so Scotty Nell Hughes versus Kyle Kalinske, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday. That should be very interesting. So at, I'm, I'm officially scheduled for one panel on Saturday, three on Sunday. Now there may also be... I'm So I honestly can't help but feel bad for the guy because I think that despite the onus of the of the you know the burden of the of the wrongdoing being on the part of Politicon because you know it was confirmed to Kyle that Ann Coulter and Kyle Kalinske were going to be debating and so he basically he promoted that as, because that's what you do right I mean you promote what's going to be happening but it didn't happen and that's borderline fraud and I feel like Kyle has taken the onus on himself and he's now overloading his schedule with five different things. That's a lot to do at Politicon. Uh, I don't know anybody who's done five things. Usually I thought people only do two, maybe three max. But five? Holy smokes, that is insane. Uh, so he explains that he's going to be doing uh, multiple panels. He uh, is going to be doing a panel which is the, uh, you know, should we be socialist panel? But it turns out that there's not actually any socialists on there. So it's actually just a bunch of non-socialists. So that that one is on Saturday, I guess. And it has Sam Cedar, Anna Kasparian, Bakari Sellers, David Pakman, Kyle Kalinske, and Marcos Mulitsas. Now, as I explained in the video that I made about it, Politicon done goofed because there are no socialists on that goddamn panel. So why would you entitle a panel debate, should we be socialists, if there are no socialists? That doesn't make any, in, you know, inches or, you know, at atomic level particles of sense. It doesn't make, 
it doesn't make any sense because they're all they're all social democrats or in the case of Bakari Sellers and Marcos, they're more, you know, neolib esque. Uh but to be fair to Marcos, he is actually he was a Bernie supporter, so I guess I gotta I have to give him that for sure. Um but another one he's gonna be on, he's gonna be on what now liberals with a bunch of nobodies. I don't even know who any of these people are except for Marco well I know who Marcos and Sally Cohn are, so that, that, that means that's going to be a very boring panel. Another one says, it's how the fuck are we going to get along? <clears throat> it has Bakari Sellers, Charlie Kirk, Kyle Kalinske, Michael Nowels, and Rolling Millennial. Now, this this will be more interesting. Uh, Charlie Kirk, if he stays in, will be interesting. Roaming Millennial will be interesting. And Michael Nowels is not going to be interesting because he's a Daily Wire, <laughs> Daily Wire lackey. Uh, so that's not going to be all that interesting, but that, that one should be pretty interesting. Actually, that one should be pretty interesting. So, uh, the, I guess he's only doing four things, which is still a lot, but he may be adding another panel to my understanding, but he did reveal who he was actually going to be debating one V one. That is, as he announced, Scotty Nell Hughes. Now, I don't know if my reaction is the same as you guys. I was pretty uh, up to speed during the 2016 election, and I have no fucking clue who the fuck Scotty Nell Hughes is. When he said Scotty Nell Hughes, I actually thought it was a dude. Um, I thought, you know, Scotty Pippen, you know, there's a lot of other Scotties, you know. I never heard of a girl named Scotty, uh, and that may be my fault, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know who the hell that is, and it's not Kyle's fault, okay? I'm not trying to blame Kyle, and I actually want to make that clear. It's not his fault. Because he floated all the names that we wanted him to float. But, you know, they were all chickening out. Uh, as we're going to get into in a second here. But, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know who Scotty Nell Hughes is. So, I don't even know, like, how interesting it's going to be. But, here's the interesting part. So, you know, we all wanted a Ben Shapiro-Kyle debate. That would have been amazing, right? But there were also other good prospects. You know, Candace Owens, Tommy Lahren. Um, so... He says that he floated the names of Ben Shapiro, Tommy Lahren, and Candace Owens, and he's going to explain what happened. When I tell you we ran through virtually every single conservative at Politicon, I'm not kidding. So I floated every name that all of you guys wanted me to float. You know, I, hey, I hear you guys. I hear you. I, I see your stuff on Twitter. I see your stuff in the comment section from time to time. And I, I know what you want to see. I know you want to see Kyle Klinsky versus Ben Shapiro. Honestly, and I'm not joking about this, I think at this point, Kyle Klinsky versus Ben Shapiro could fucking sell out Madison Square Garden. <laughs> I'm not joking about that. So I know that's what you want to see. So I floated that. I said, hey, what about Ben Shapiro? News came back. No. He's passing. Hmm, okay. Um, now, again, I don't want to jump to conclusions, so I feel like I, I always need to add this caveat. Yes, there is a chance that a lot of these people know exactly who I am, and therefore, they're like, yeah, kind of don't want to get destroyed by a YouTuber, so not going to do it. That's possible, but it is also possible that a lot of uh, the people who I floated genuinely don't know who I am, so they're just like, I don't want to debate somebody who I feel like is a nobody, you know? And again, even with Ann Coulter, who my understanding was she had agreed to it and then backed out of it, even with her, I genuinely don't know if she w she came across my videos and was like, whoa, not debating him because he seems like he's going to eat me alive. Um, or if she really just didn't know who the hell I am. And so she's like, OK, I'm going to pass because I don't know who he is. But here's what I could tell you. Of all the names that I floated, you bet your ass, at least some of them, at least maybe half of them know who I am and they pass. So, for example, one of the names I floated. Tommy Lauren. Tommy Lauren passed. Okay? Now, there are names I floated that I'm not sure they know who I am. Like, I floated, hey, Adam Carolla, he's going to be there. I'll debate him. Or Chris Christie, he's going to be there. I'll debate him. The three I mentioned who were in the running recently, Michael Steele, David Frum, uh, I thought, I'll debate them. Now, again, I don't know if they know who I am and passed because they know who I am or, or if they passed because they just have no clue who I am. Uh, but I know that Jesse Lee Peterson, who I also floated, relatively certain he knows who I am, and he passed. So I floated 
all the names that you guys um, wanted me to float. After Coulter backed out, I basically said, okay, well, I need somebody of relatively equal stature to Coulter because I've been promoting Coulter and all you guys want to see it. I certainly want to do it. And I feel like it's only the right thing to do to get somebody of similar stature. And um, all of them passed. Ben Shapiro passed. Tommy Lauren passed. I floated a one-on-one -on -one with Candace Owens and she passed. So anyway, the point is, guys, I give Scotty Nell Hughes a tremendous amount of credit because... Wow, so that's actually quite, uh, quite a lot of information to take in. If you recall, in one of David Pakman's videos about Politicon, he explained that he hopes that one day they can sort of release all of the names of people who were chickening out of debates with them. So we, kind of, we already knew, right? I mean, Ann Coulter backed out, Candace Owens backed out of the 2v2. So it, it, it's just, it's a clear trend of right-wingers backing out. Sam Cedar also spoke about that, about Steven Crowder, uh, who's, you know, an idiot. But anyways, so he's saying that he floated the names of Ben Shapiro, Tommy Lahren, and Candace Owens. So Ben Shapiro, here's one thing I want to I wanna explain about Ben Shapiro here that should be interesting. So this is according to the website on Politicon, right? So I, I, you know, searched through the schedule and, you know, I've also on, on Ben Shapiro's Politicon page and here's what he's going to be doing. He's going to be doing both things on the Sunday of Politicon the 21st. And uh, I want to mention this is subject to change. I don't know, but I'm talking about as of right now, this instance in this instant, sorry, this is what the Politicon website says for Ben Shapiro. So it says 21 October Ben Shapiro keynote speech, uh, which is at 12 PM, 21 October daily wire town hall now the town hall is just going to be him with his daily wire lackeys and it's going to be just you know taking questions from people what does that mean he's not actually debating anybody ben shapiro is not going to be debating anyone up why what so you there's clearly an opening for a debate unless there's information that's being withheld from us but there seems to be a vacancy and he declined i don't know man not only you know that's a massive bitch move for someone who says that he'll debate anybody and who's supposed to be down to exchange ideas with everyone and, you know, all about debating, right? And then Tommy Lahren, we know that Tommy Lahren knows who Kyle is because they got into an insanely heated debate on Twitter, uh, really, like, heated back and forth, so obviously she knows who he is. She hates his guts. Uh, she declined. That would have been an amazing debate, by the way. I 100% would have watched that. Third person, Candace Owens. That would have been a good one, too. I really would have watched that because that would have been essentially like Albert Einstein talking to like a high school physics uh, physics student. You know what I mean? So uh, it would have been really, really interesting to watch. But man, it is some really, uh, you know, I want to know you guys' thoughts on this. I'm pretty sure I know what you guys are going to say because there's really only one conclusion that can come from this, which is that. So far, as we know, Ben Shapiro is not actually doing anything on Saturday. And so that means he's plenty open to do a debate. He's not even doing what he's given his keynote speech. Um, so why did you back it? Why did you decline the debate uh, to decline a debate with ben, uh, with uh, Kyle Kalinske? I mean, that's pretty weak on your part, man. Pretty weak on your part. And honestly, pretty weak on the part of all conservatives, to be completely frank with you.